Well, let's talk more about this now with Emmanuel Yi Pastra. He's the director of the Asia Institute and joins us now from Tokyo. Thanks very much for being with us. So what do you, you make of this development in terms of uh, what it brings to North Korea's military capabilities? I think overall the increase in North Korea's military capability is marginal. The Romanov class submarine is not a particularly uh, sophisticated one. Uh, however, uh, as we're probably going to have the leader Kim Jong Un visit Moscow to dis discuss uh, military cooperation and possible use of uh, North Korean military weapons in Ukraine and possibly more Russian military uh, assistance to North Korea. This could be the beginning of a serious buildup of military capability and uh, naval capacity on the part of North Korea over the coming years. Uh, there's also a, a, um, a communication element in all of this, isn't there? I mean, regardless of just keeping in mind what you said about um, what, what it adds to, to the military capabilities, but just the act of doing this, what message do you think this sends to North Korea's neighbors? Well, I think the North Koreans felt they had no choice, that the large increase in the military exercises by the United States and South Korea, and also with Japan, and possibly in the future, uh, trilateral exercises uh, requires uh, diplomat in domestic politics, in international politics, requires require some sort of a response. Uh, I think what we should really be concerned about uh, is that if North Korea sees the possibility of actual military activity paralleling uh, what is happening in Ukraine actually taking place, uh, that this uh, could easily es uh, escalate into a far more serious confrontation. So you think this, could, this has the risk of further destabilizing the region? Well, I think the, the, uh, what's happening in Ukraine is destabilizing the whole world. Uh, but that, yes, uh, the fact that Russia is in, engaged in this uh, almost direct, let's say, uh, above proxy war conflict with NATO and the United States means that cases like Taiwan and North Korea, which had been risky but at, at least stable, are becoming less stable. Good to get your thoughts on this. Emmanuel Yi Pai Streich, thanks very much for being with us.